Hello everyone, welcome back to Drawing Stack. This is Bishnu and today I'm going to work on the final part of the winter landscape with soft pastel. If you missed my last video, start there to see how I build the underpainting which is going to help us here to get the effect of snow easily. So in this part, I'm going to start with distance trees at horizon first using some olive green and burnt umber. Apply the burnt umber to the base of this area blend it little bit and then apply some olive green on top of it with some overlap now apply deep yellow on top of olive green to create some highlights also we can use few strokes of branch sienna to get some variation in highlights let's move back and evaluate how it looks like what we are missing and take decision if we need to work further on it i feel like i need to make the bottom part a little deeper so that when I work on snow down below, that will appear more prominently. So we will take the burnt umber and add some more value and texture, mostly to the bottom areas. Now let's move to the most interesting part of this painting, snow, which is covering majority of the foreground. For this part, we will use obviously a white color and occasionally some light blue. Be careful while working on the area before the distance trees, drag the white pastel straight below it. Then for the rest of the area at right, we are going to use strokes starting up and coming down towards the road, which will help building the land structure indicating that it is higher ground compared to the road. Now you can see how the underpainting is helping us here and making it easier to build the effect of snow. The blue color underneath the white snow is visible here and there and it looks great. We can use some light blue at some areas to indicate variation of reflection on snow. We will not do any blending here. Maybe just see if you find any loose colors, press them a little bit or blow them away. Let's work on upper portion of the left side land as well. Use same colors and same techniques as we just used for the other side. We will apply some white and then apply some blue on top of it to indicate shadows and variation of reflection on snow. Now we will work on lower portion of the land at both sides. Apply some light red oxide, then some branch sienna and use strokes from down to up. Also select some color which is even darker in value like brand umber to create more interesting texture. We will come back to work further on this area later after we place our trees but for now let's move to other areas. Before we work on snow on the road, let's build a layer of shadow of trees and higher grounds here at bottom part of the road which will be underneath snow but will help to build the final layer. Select violet and apply from right to the middle then same color apply from left to the middle. Again take an iron blue and apply from right to the middle and then from left to the middle. Let's blend these colors little bit. If you are not fine to use your fingertip, you can wear uh, gloves for blending when working on textured surface or use a piece of clothes to do this part. Now we will take a white pastel and apply on the road to get the effect of snow. First fill most of the area as you like and then a sidewise stroke will help to achieve the desired look. We are going to do a little rework on the side of the road using an iron blue as it kind of lost its shape with the white road. Coming back to the road, we will add some texture of light blue there. Then take a warm medium grey and make some tire mark on the snow as if some car passed through the road after snowfall. Consider the perspective of the road and add these marks. If you are using a reference photo, that helps in such cases to figure out perspectives easily. Adding some more white back in between grey will make the grey color more prominent. Next thing we are going to work on is trees at both sides. We will use a black pastel pencil for this part. This part is very simple and easy. First figure out where you want to place all these trees and then build main tree trunks and finally add more branches to it. Drawing tree trunks are fun as there is no rule and it can grow in any direction. I'm sure you love to draw such things as much as I do. Just few basic things to keep in mind. Width of these tree trunks will have influence on the overall perspective of the painting. 
such as if the tree trunks are too wide then that means we are observing the landscape very closely if they are too narrow then we are observing it from distance the nearest tree will have wider trunk and the one at distance will have narrower trunk also do not add too much of branches to the main trunks as that can spoil the painting so keep a good balance of all these we can add some more details here like take a white pastel and add some marks on tree trunk to indicate that snow hanging there on uneven surface of trees here we are done with trees at both sides now let's go back to roadside bush and use deep yellow to highlight some wild grass which now looks yellow and brown in the winter we will use a little bit of brown sienna as well at bottommost corners let's add little black as well to make this area darkest part of this painting then blend it it would be nice to add little bit of foliage on these trees so we will use same colors we used for grass brown sienna and deep yellow i am using my pastel stick sideways carefully with very less pressure as we don't want to put too much of colors just patches here and there in the same way add some patches using the deep yellow earlier we put down a layer on the road for shadows of trees and higher ground which is now underneath snow now we will rebuild it nicely using an iron blue use some white color as well to get a nice balance of shadow and snow we can add some violet as well to get a bit variation against the blue we used earlier Now it is time to stay back and watch the painting for a while and give some final touches based on our observation. I think some more grass here at roadside will look good. So let's use a brown sienna. We can add some more tire marks on the road. It will look good. A little bit more touches for the shadow on road. We can add some more texture for tree foliage. Anyway, here we are done with this winter landscape with pastels. Hope you will enjoy working on this composition. If you missed the first part or the one for surface preparation, check Drawing Stack channel page to find these earlier videos. It will be great to hear from you, so let me know your comment, like the video and share with your friends. Subscribe and stay in touch for more drawing and painting techniques. Thank you for watching Drawing Stack. See you soon with another painting.